Alright guys, it's Bucky and welcome to your 15th JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial, like I said, we're going to be going over a kind of more complex if statement. So in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how to make a basic if statement and we pretty much gave it a test and if that test was true, it ran a bit of code, but if that test was false, then it didn't do anything. Well now, all we're going to be doing is telling it, if it's false, instead of not doing anything, give it another option. So if it's true, do this. If it's false, do that. So before we said, if it's true, do this. If it's false, do nothing. And now we're saying, if it's true, do this. If it's false, do that. So pretty simple. We're pretty much making it do something no matter what. So let's go ahead and make, well, let me show you guys the basic syntax of this. In order to make an if else statement, and that's what this is called, if else, we go ahead and write our if statement, and we're going to give it a test right here. If that test is true, we're going to run this bit of code right here. Let's say we have document write um, and just write like, I love hot pockets. Good enough. So now, if this test is true, we run this bit of code. Just like we did before, this is exactly identical. But now, let's stick another piece onto this. We're going to go ahead and write the word else. Now go ahead and add brackets for this, and instead of doing nothing, if the test is false, it's going to do this bit of code right here. So, document, write, um, I love, nah, let's give it something like I love strawberry. So, this is an unhealthy, and this is healthy. So, you know, we've got kind of a contrast going on there. So, now let's go ahead and give it a really simple test. Let's just go ahead and test two numbers. Can't be easier than that. So if two equals two, and remember, we can't use one equal sign, we have to use two because we only use one equal sign whenever we're setting a variable equal to a value. Whenever we're just testing two values to make sure they equal each other, we use two equal signs. So right now we're saying, all right, if two equals two, do this. If two doesn't equal two, do this. So let's go ahead and save it and refresh it and see what it says. I love Hot Pockets. So that's why the first one got executed. But what if they didn't e equal each other? What if saying, alright, if 2 equals 65, well we know that 2 does not equal 65. It just doesn't make sense. So it's going to say, alright, if 2 equals 65, do this. Well it doesn't, so I'm not going to do that. So I guess I have to do this. I love strawberries. So let's go ahead and save this and see what we get. I love strawberries, just as we thought. So aside from having just two values equal each other, we can have two variables equal each other. For example, if we had um, var uh, blue equal 43 and var red equal 76, then we can go ahead and we can test if blue is equal to red, which they aren't, so it's going to say I love strawberries right here, check it out, I love strawberries, but if they are equal to each other, 43 and 43, whoa, not have 743, check it out, I love Hot Pockets. So again, this is more common to compare two variables against each other. You can also take a variable and compare it to a number, if 43 equals 43, just like that, I love Hot Pockets. So aside from this, what you can do is you can use all your other comparison operators too. If 43 is not equal to 43, then let's see what happens. It says, I love strawberries. So you're saying, all right, if 43 is different than 43, do this. Well, I'm not going to do that because they're the same. So if they're the same, go ahead and do this. And that's why I print out, I love strawberries. Now let's go ahead and uh, test our greater than less than, and 587 and 43. So if blue is greater than 43 or let's go ahead and type red right there so if 587 is greater than red go ahead and do this if 507 587 is not greater than red go ahead and do this so since it is greater than red and 587 is more than 43 it's gonna go ahead and print out I love Hot Pockets if I go ahead and save that right there I love Hot Pockets and of course we can do less than less than or equal to greater than or equal to 
double equals, not equals, and all those good stuff. But anyways, that's the point I'm trying to make. An if-else statement is basically this. Let me go ahead and cut this. An if statement pretty much takes a test, and if it's true, it runs a bit of code. If it's not true, it doesn't do anything. What an if-else statement does is it pretty much gives you that second option. If it's not true, instead of not doing anything, run this bit of code instead. So either way, your computer is going to get stuck doing something, whereas before, if it wasn't true, it could escape, take the easy way out, and do nothing. So there you have it, a basic if-else statement, and why they are useful, and what they do. So don't forget to go over your comparison operators. Make sure you understand all of those and make sure you understand the basics of an if else statement. You pretty much are giving your computer a decision. You're either going to do this or do this based on a test. So now that you understand that, you're ready to move on to the next topic and that is things might get confusing, but it's actually nesting. So things might get a little rough, but trust me, you need to understand the next topic. It's going to be extremely helpful to you. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.